Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Got a Problem Mate podcast, or welcome for the first time. This might be the first time because we have an actual proper guest for the first time, not like all the other ones before. Can I just say uh, this week's guest, who I'm not going to get to just yet, um, mm. I, I booked this week's guest. Yeah. I'd like to make it clear that I maybe didn't book the last one. You can't say <laughs> that. I'm no. I'm just going to start saying. That? I'm just going to start saying when I when I booked a guest, I'm going to start saying that I booked them. Why? In case, just in case I don't. In- but this is the first time you've booked a good guest. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll say that's that. always me. Like the the not the always. Hot ones. I booked Andy Field. Exactly. Yeah. I like Andy Field. Thank you for the coffee. Thank you for the pastries. I brought in pastries. Thank you for the Huel. I love Huel. You're welcome. Um, what pastries are they? Uh, there's one. Pan o raisin and one chocolate t- twist twirl. Cheers. I can have the chocolate twist twirl. I don't care if I'd mind. I don't know. What do you have? One. Pan o raisin. Bought two of them. Do you think our guest wants the chocolate twist twirl? I don't know. We can ask him in a minute. Um, if you're new to the show, basically what happens is uh, my name's Joey Page and his name is Bilal Zafar. We're kind of friends. We're making it work. And we've done a podcast together. We've done a podcast. And I can't work out if that's making us Better friends or worse friends, but we are, we we solve people's problems. People like you. So if you've got a problem that you want solving, then why not email the email address, which is below. Got a problem, mate at gmail dot com. And if you're enjoying the episode, even as shambolic as the start has been, then don't forget to like, rate, and definitely subscribe. And if you're on Spotify, just make a little five star thing for us. And iTunes has who a does reviewing iTunes bit? anymore? I don't know. Do they? I don't know. I don't know. If I think you do, since Steve Jobs has gone. It's really gone down the pan for those Rest guys. Rest in peace. Are you going to get those goggles? What goggles? <laughs> the goggles that when you could do your graphic design and wave to your kids. You not seen the? Advert? No, I've not seen it. I've seen the watch thing. And you pinch and it opens your watch. That what? You're really wearing. You know these Apple watches. Yeah. Yeah. Now you, you don't it. even have to touch it with your other finger. It's gotten so lazy that you just do that. Oh my! God. On the wrist, it's on. I mean, I wear my watch sure. on the other on the other wrist like a bit of a weirdo. Why? Just because it's always felt better to me. What? What? How so do you like, hold the mic with? That would. Oh, I switch. I mean, my arms what? get tired. That's... I'm not there for so long. My You're arms doing get it tired. Wrong. <laughs> You're doing external <laughs> comedy wrong. <laughs> I get really tired. How have you been? Ah, oh, all right. I'm a bit hungover today. Your football team's been losing. All right, chill out. I don't care. <laughs> he cares deeply. <laughs> I was very I, jealous. I went, I went to the. Uh, I, know. I went to the Tottenham Chelsea game, and it was one of the most emotional games of football of all time. Can I say that? Yeah, sure. We clapped the team off after losing four one. They made me care about them again. Hate it. Just I normally like just go, lost I normally like that. just go in there to drink neck oil, but now I care. Again. Tell them what you did pre kickoff that I'm jealous about. Oh, so our guest Rob Daly. There was another guest. I, I introduced him to the, to Rob. I booked him. No, you didn't. No, okay, I didn't. Uh, Rob Daly, he's a proper bona fide football commentator. Uh, I don't know what number episode. I'm not a nerd. Like, you can go back and find it, whatever. And basically, uh, he came on, and I think he took a real shine to me, and me and him went for lunch after the podcast. You couldn't be asked to come. And then I got invited up to the commentary box at Tottenham Hotspur. And can I say, people, people on Instagram, right? And I'm not talking about my nice new followers that I've got loads of. I'm talking about, like, comedians. A proper thick, you know that? People think I was actually commentating on the Tottenham Chelsea game with my dad. People are going, how did you get that job? Oh, that's amazing. Well done. That's going great for you. I'm like, come on, guys. Smart enough. <laughs> that's going Smart great for enough. you. <laughs> how are you? You all right? I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, lots yeah. of work and stuff. Oh, yeah? you, you said that like someone um, who hasn't got any work. I've got loads of work. I'm making video essays now for YouTube. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, our guest will know about that sort of thing, I think. Really? I don't know. Okay, well, should we introduce our guest? Yeah, I'm going to start. All right. By the way, we, we, both, we both do an intro for you, so you can decide I hope that's what you okay. like. Um, let's see. Our guest, he... C- could he, you start your, your our, intro our, with an guest, um, look, please? Don't, don't interrupt my intro, right? I don't drink my Huel while you do Don't drink Huel during the intro, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Our guest today went on Blue Peter at the age of 14 years old, <laughs> but he wasn't content with that. He said, no, I'm going to keep going. So then at the age of 19, <laughs> at 
at the age of 19, he went on to win the prestigious So You Think You're Funny competition. And now he performs in comedy clubs across the UK and has been on ITV2 stand-up sketch show. Could you... you we I can't get on there. I, I pitched ideas. I pitched they idea. wouldn't have me. Said, I'm too old for it. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, no, that's not enough for me. If you're listening and you think I sound youthful, I'm only 39. He He went and... Wait, did he win it? BBC New Comedy Award? No. Oh. I didn't even didn't get win. I didn't even get into the final. Well that shouldn't be on there. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you're, not even, has... you're just reading the text. That's you know what I mean? you did last time. You read Wikipedia for our guest, and that's worse <laughs> than what I've done. <laughs> he has over 170,000 followers and eight million likes on TikTok. That's pretty cool. We'll talk about that. Um <clears throat> his sketches are immensely popular. And um <laughs> Broadway Baby said he will be the future of stand-up comedy. But he isn't yet. <laughs> he will be. This but he is, will be. This is excruciating. And then he wasn't done. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then he wasn't f- f- uh, done with that. He said, no, I'm going to keep going. So then he went and got himself 101 LinkedIn connections, which is the most in his borough. <laughs> this is the first thing I'm doing off this podcast. Is that from LinkedIn? No, this is some <laughs> random website. But then I did go on your LinkedIn. And... Um... Sorry, it's Findlay Christie, everyone, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm changing um, whatever that's from. The moment that this is done, I'll find that, it. Hate, you can do hate... it mid podcast. It's the kind of co- podcast where, you, if you want to do it mid podcast, oh, we don't right? mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. there's a lot of adjectives and adverbs in there. I'd, immensely popular. And think, what was the oh, other you one? Are, I, know. Like, I know. Yeah, I, know. I hate that. St- I sh- it should just be. Don't hide your. What do they say in, in religion? Don't hide your light under a bushel. In is religion? That, is that a thing? <laughs> you, is that from? That's, <laughs> from, that's, that's from religion. That's from the is Bible. It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. I think that's from. Yeah, yeah. One other thing I got, sorry, you do your intro in a sec, is that it had your school okay. on LinkedIn. Do you know my school? Yes. Did you go to my school? I, no, I grew up very close to your school. You're from Walthamstow? I, I went he to Walthamstow High School. School. Oh, he went to Walthamstow High School, which no is way. very close. Are I you went from to, I, around that area? I'm not. I'm from I'm from Islington, but I know a lot of people That's who a went journey to, to Walthamstow High. Every day? There was a school bus. Because basically all the kids, so it was like it was like Didn't a. Didn't your school throw rocks at their bus? <laughs> so probably. We got on. No, we got on with the yeah. Wanstead High kids. I'm trying to, who we who we didn't get on with uh, uh, Brentwood, don't know Chigwell, that. people like that. No. But no. High, if you if you came down Mines, if you came down BS, we'd we'd batter you all. BS. Yeah. Bexley. Oh, Bexley Heath School. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good um, abbreviation. But our school badge was literally it literally said BS on the badge. That was the whole badge. That's great. In like a crest. Do you want to do your intro? Well, I sh- I've realised I should have done mine first. Yeah, because I, I was going to pretend one. that our guest was I only never six years that. old. I never do that level of prep for an intro. Mm. Usually, it's a disaster. really. You, you seem so passionate. And enthusiastic. Our guest today is a six-year-old. He's the youngest stand-up <laughs> comedian of all time. <laughs> yeah, put the volume up. I think that's a good joke. I would put that in now. Do you get it? Yeah. Because they stood up the whole time. No, that wasn't it. Oh. That's not that's not the joke. <laughs> well, see, see I, I so I that's part of my that was part of my Edinburgh but, show. Yeah, well, yeah. And I watched it about fifteen times before I realised what the joke was. Oh right. I think the joke is that they're lying down on the road. Oh. Why? Because okay. no, they're like on a zebra crossing. Maybe, yeah, like the they're, oh, they're having a, oh, so they're having a holiday on the zebra crossing. Yeah, so they just put like a recliner out on the oh. on the zebra crossing. I was going to pretend that we had a, a, a six year old stand up comedian on the show. Oh, and shall we start again? No, <laughs> the whole thing. No, um, yeah, that's just that's just new stuff though. That F- Finley Christie has got a special out called OK Zuma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've watched, it's the first time I've had a guest on where I've actually done the research and watched the whole We've both thing they've done. worked very hard on this episode. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it off the top, does it? But we have. No, this, yeah, it feels, this feels like light, a light roast. No, it's not. So no, far. I re- no, I, I <laughs> so, sarcastically reading out my credits and then <laughs> showing like the most embarrassing bit from my special. <laughs> Were you seven in that? Or six or six. In that, I was about nine, I think. Oh. Or maybe eight or nine. Um, but more recently, when, how long ago, how long have you been doing it as a grown up? Uh, like I, I did it a few times as a kid, not loads. And then, and then, when I was eighteen, is when I started going Ooh. to open mics. Uh, 
that's yeah. So at uni, there was a comedy club at my uni. Yeah, and a, and a friend of mine was sort of doing really well, and I was his bringer to gigs. We we go to gigs. You have to you have to bring have someone to, bring to the people. audience. No, not in my day. Where's your friend now? He is, I think, Kentish Town. Oh, uh, is he doing comedy? Is he good. Now? <laughs> yeah, he's doing comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's still doing. It. He's great, but he he took a break from it for a while. Mm. That's a big mistake. Big mm. mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, because uh, yeah, I think he spent a, was spending a lot of time with his girlfriend. He was sort of mostly just wanted to hang out with his girlfriend. That's the problem. Me and Finley uh, did a gig together recently, did, yeah, and then we met up for a, for a coffee and we bounced Where'd some, you some stand up comedy ideas about. Where'd you go? We went to um, went Black to a cafe sheep. and we didn't go oh, Black Sheep. It was a nightmare actually. Went to a place yeah. where you can only you can have your laptop out. Only if you sit at the island. There was like a kitchen <laughs> island in the middle of this coffee shop. And it it was, you can either sit at the island with your laptop or you can sit at a table and chairs without your laptop. Mm. And I like to use pen and paper. Yeah. So is that allowed? For me. Well, but I felt like we was doing like a, a loophole, loophole yeah. and they didn't yeah. like it because we were doing work. Were they fuming about it? I think so. I well, they, they didn't give any reason why. We couldn't have the, lap- the, the laptop. It wasn't busy in there. Yeah, but the, the island's like right in the middle. Mm. It, yeah, it's high stalls. I'm, no, it's I, not nice. I is don't it? like a high. I don't stall. like a. Do you sit on a high stall? I ref- well, I refuse to sit on no. the island. Mm. No. The, 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 yeah, the high stalls. Are, oh, the high stalls. Are, you don't know what to do with your legs. Yeah, oh, that's awful, man. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. But, yeah. but the anyway, ring, the ring below the high stall is always too low down. Yeah. Yeah. And you're sort of doing waves, no, no, shaking no, your no, hips. No, no. That's a last resort place to sit. That's Why would they do that to people with laptops? Because uh, they, they're not welcome there. They're yeah. going to put them on an island. Mm. We just don't have laptop people in there at all, then, if you're going to treat us like that. Yeah. Mm. Or do you bring, you could, I'll make a point of bringing a desktop computer and plugging it in at the side. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you That's have a desktop computer? computer? I don't, who does? Bilal. Oh, do I you? do, but it's a yeah. gaming a- streaming PC. Do you see, are you, are you a gamer? I you're stream a streamer, on aren't you? A streamer. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. yes. I should have done my research. Switch. But um, yeah, you. So I used to. I used to be. I used to do. I built my own. Oh computer yeah. And stuff when I was a teenager. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I've never done that. But you into? You know about GPUs and oh, all this barely, stuff. Oh, barely, barely, yeah, barely, just about. Yeah. I'm sorry. I remember having. I got my Nvidia GTX 670, and at the time yeah. that was like the one. Yeah, I've got the yeah. RTX. What is it? Four three eighty four eighty something yeah. stupid. <laughs> It's yeah. uh, it's really fast, man. Yeah. yeah. You can do really... Hey, guys, have you noticed... Oh, really oh pen and graphics. paper over here. Hey, He's guys, have you noticed I'm not even wearing pages. a hat today? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not. On Twitch. I know. My hair was looking good, so I thought I won't wear a hat. He was a Twitch streamer in lockdown, but he likes to act like he wasn't now because he thinks I'm that's not a wimp. geeks. I'm not a wimp. You're a wimp. I'm not a wimp. Okay, so... Can well, I do... Welcome to the podcast. Thank yeah, you so wanna, much for coming. Um, if you haven't listened to it before, basically, uh, we all bring a problem in and we all help each other solve it and then we solve a listener's problem. But before that, Bilal likes to do a little feature that he's created. Okay. And I've brought a new feature which I'm going to debut What's later on in the show. It? Yeah. This feature is called Vet the Guest slash CRB Check. We're checking if you're good enough to be on this podcast. If you fail, then you have to leave. Okay. It's just seven quick questions. You can answer them. If you answer <laughs> That's the them. same as last week. <laughs> no, no. You, answer, you can answer them quite concisely if you like. Okay. Uh, question one, mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, I agree. Question two, uh, if you see a cat, will you try and get its attention? A hundred percent. Yes. No, nah, not at all. You, nah, he should replace <laughs> He might. Question three, Tottenham Hotspur? Football is a mystery to me. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, question four. I love them. And neck oil. Would you do badly in the rest of your gigs forever for a million pounds secretly? Oh, Ooh, that's a great question. No. <laughs> really? I, I would. Million oh, I Pat, think, he I, would. I think I'd be... I, <laughs> I, I, I get miserable if I don't gig for a week. Yeah. Can I ask so, you a question? Yeah, well, That's because you've been doing it since you were six. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need Man, it. Yeah. Um, can I ask a question mm-hmm. on, on, on Finley's behalf? Yeah. Um, how long for... Like, how long have you got to keep this charade up for? Forever. Yeah, but like, what if you... Well, like, when it. can you retire? Well, you'll get less and less gigs, right? Mm. But you'll still yeah. do them. No, you could still do... Some uh, people still gig despite not being... Oh, yeah, there's loads of places you could still we gig. We talk about them. Yeah. We meet up and talk about we them. We get people. them on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. I yeah. thought, is, is, is CRB check, isn't that like, can uh, you work with kids? I thought that was going to be the question. <laughs> it's, it's never and been I, a question on that so far. And I can't. 
But it's not CRB check anymore. It's DBS check, isn't it? Sorry, D- DBS. That's it. Yeah. C- I did a CRB check, but I'm older than you. Anyway, uh, question five. PS4? I did. Yeah. Good. Uh, question number six. Bubble tea? No. No. no I'm not sure about Tapioca. that. Do you both like bubble tea? No, no. It's horrible, isn't it? Awful. I like it. Do and, you? And question number seven. Are what? you always trying to go to that banh mi place? Because you want to get bubble tea? It's gone. Great. Good Good riddance. And final question, number seven of v- Vet the Guest, CRB check. What year did this country stop having some bollocks? <laughs> 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 oh. um, <laughs> 1945. That's, that's spot on. Yeah. Well, congratulations, uh, Finley Christie. You've scored uh, 3,500 on Vet the Guest. You're now allowed to speak to Joey Page. Hello, Joe. Hello. Thanks for coming on the podcast. You can nailed I, that. Can I amend the bubble? I'll have bubble tea if I'm in uh, Asia. Oh, in East Asia. I'll have bubble tea. Have you done that? Yeah, yeah. I'll have a. Um, I'll have one of those fancy Kit Kats they've got if I'm in East Asia. You know they sell alcohol in KFC in China. What? Do they? Yeah, and they're not even allowed to. But, but they, they can't do. have Google. <laughs> yeah, they can't have Google, but they can have. They can't have. Google. What booze is it? It's it's not clear. I'm gonna have a look. Well, thank you for uh, attending and well done on your CRB check. Vet the guest, you did phenomenally well. Thank you. Send me my certificate in the post. Um, I was hoping you could help me with TikTok because I've just started doing it and I see that you're very good on there. Nobody listens to a and podcast and wants to know about how listen, to get big on TikTok. You Google KFC, all right, and you sit there quietly with your heel. Make me sick. <laughs> I'd use Bing. I don't have Googling. Um, um, I just put what what alcohol did they send on KFC in Google? Because I wasn't paying attention. In China, K- I know in China. In China, but they might not have it. Uh, it might not come up. What alcohol? Because it's a very it's a very like under the table thing. He googled what alcohol did they send in KFC? <laughs> Sing Sing Tao beer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Oh, what phone have you got? Is it uh, Huawei? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's listening to you. The Chinese <laughs> well, yeah, government is, are listening they're really, to you. They're really good value. They're really good value. Yeah, but they're listening to you. Now now, now the game's up. It was a secret that KFC sold alcohol. How do and I now get, they know because you've said it into your Huawei. How do I get lots of TikTok views? Uh, I, the thing is, I've fallen off on TikTok, so I wouldn't what? know. Yeah, because it's become it harder and harder. didn't say that in your bio. It's become... <laughs> I should do a more off. balanced... Uh, yeah. I should focus on the positives and the negatives. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's become harder and harder to break through on there. I don't know how to do it anymore. What? I think I think the videos have to be people's attention spans of are even shorter now. It's got to be one second now. It's got to be like um, it's got to be like a short video of um, you know, like it's it's got to make no set. It's got to be absurd. Oh, it's got to be it, you can't. Nothing has a narrative anymore. He used to do surreal comedy, but then he sold out. Did you know that? I did. I you, uh, I heard about a joke that you used to do where you put two pizza boxes. Oh on yeah, your hands. I told you about that, didn't I? Yeah. You yeah. put two. Did you know about this? So two pizza <laughs> boxes. So it was about uh, stone baked pizza. Yeah, and, they were and you used to put them. And you used to make them talk to each other because they were stoned and baked. And what was the story? You tell the story about going to the shop in. Oh, in Lincoln, because I'd forgotten my pizza boxes. So I went into Tesco's and I said, "If I buy these two pizzas, do you want them to the cashier?" I said, "I just need the boxes." And she looked at me like I was an utter piece of shit. And then basically <laughs> she made me explain the, what I was using them for. Mm. And she went, that won't work in Lincoln. I mean, I don't think that's the accent, but it's all northern, isn't it? So she it. said that won't work in Lincoln. Yeah, she, up here, she went, that won't work up here, lad. And then, um, and then I was doing it at the gig and it wasn't working. And then I told the story and that's how I won them around. And I was like, I've got to stop doing <clears> shit like this. Right, and now you're mainstream. Now mainstream. Would you go on Britain's Got Talent? No. Would you? Yeah. No. But he's been asked to do a pre-audition, and I think he should do it. I didn't know he was going to... Are we... Uh, what? Oh, I didn't know he was talking about that on the podcast, are we? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, we didn't we talk about it before? Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. You're going to make jokes about Simon and... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna change a thing. If I have to do it, no, you've I'm got. Not... To, you've, yeah, you have to make jokes about the judges, otherwise you're not going to go anywhere. Mm. You've got to do a whole set about mm. Simon and his silly... I just, I just thought if I get if I get onto the program, then I'll get to do a gig at the Palladium, and that's quite cool, isn't it? One for the CV. Yeah, I put that on my LinkedIn. 
I know. Do you have LinkedIn? Uh, China's KFC starts selling Chinese street food. They've basically given up on uh, the chicken, it says, in this article that I'm reading. What the heck? Do you want to have a look at this? <laughs> what, why are we looking at the article? Oh, right. KFC. <clears throat> it's just chicken skills and... Uh, and stews. Is that is that a surprise that the Chinese KFC they sell Chinese food? Uh, yeah, a bit. <laughs> I thought it would be like the Colonel. I went to Pizza Hut in Cyprus. They had a really nice feta <laughs> and olive Greek style pizza. Very good. We don't get it here. Do you like feta what cheese? What were you doing in Cyprus? Went on a little holiday a few years ago. Okay. That's feta very cheese. Feta. I like it. feta. Oh uh, yeah, big fan. Good stuff. Man. Big fan. The first cheese I ever liked. Really? As a kid, did... yeah, I didn't I wasn't a big fan on cheese and then I used to get those little olive and uh, feta pot things. And you... it scared me slightly, but I think it was the danger that pushed you uh, over. Yeah. Were you not excited by mozzarella when you were little? I mozzarella probably... doesn't taste anything. I don't think I knew what it I, I don't think I knew what it was. It. You said it doesn't taste of anything. Mozzarella. Get me a gouda. <laughs> 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 I like a nice gouda. Gouda? Yeah. I thought it was Gouda. Whatever. We didn't talk about what our problems no, are. No, I know. We're, we're, we're in an absolute mess. This went. Right. I can talk about you, your problems. <laughs> Let's think you're working out what they are. <laughs> I know that we're two old men who. Um, you're our, not. Our tone. I'm not really. Our tone comes out like I sound bored and yeah. disappointed in yeah. you, but I'm not. Right? I'm very okay. excited. Okay. And I'm very happy that you used to walk to school near where I grew up. Yes. It's very exciting. I'm imagining that now. What was your address? Um, it's very close to. I can't dox it. Because my brother owns that, the flat now that I grew up in. Mm. I'm afraid, but I'll tell you after. Okay. Why well, don't you just say it now and we'll bleep it? Where, out. Was it near? It's a risk. Name something in Wanstead that it's near. Sorry, I've interrupted you. No, it's okay. It's near a pond. I'm sorry. Oh, to... okay. Wow, right by my school. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry if we've got any listeners from beyond Wanstead. We don't. Oh, okay. That's good. Before we get into problems, yeah. should I do my new feature? Do you want to do that now? I've got a new feature called Guest to Impress, where I each week design a feature, especially for our guest. And today's feature for Mr. Christie is um, bridging. No, I've got that wrong. Sorry, let me start again. Mind brackets, the generation close brackets gap. I'm going to say some things from yesteryear when I was young. Mm. And I want to see uh, if you know them. I like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Edge. Um, as in from U2? No. No. <laughs> uh, it was uh, pizza. They used to do at Pete's Hut where there was no <laughs> crust and it, the toppings went all the way to the edge. Are you serious? They used to sell that when I worked there. Yes. Um, Is that good? Um, Why did you, you... And you thought I'd think of that over... Edge, the edge from you too. Do you know what it is? No. No, okay. But you didn't, anyway. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter about him. He's in the he's in no man's land. He's like, how old are you, 30? 30 32. Two. Okay. Okay. Um, have no you ever had Tizer? Why did you look so <laughs> angry? I think I had AstraZeneca. <laughs> it's a drink. Oh, okay. Uh, have you ever had... Uh, he's anti-vaccine. Semolina. <laughs> Semolina? <laughs> yeah. Um, Semolina. Is that the malt... Loaf. No, it's a, uh, it's like a kind of tapioca kind of pudding. Uh, <laughs> How old are you? Blumange. Blumange. Yeah. <laughs> that... Is that a cheese? No, it's like a, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like a, um, like a cross between a mousse and a jelly. Are you from no. w- which planet? Uh, Pogs. Pogs. Rings a bell. Okay. Is ah. it, do you throw them at each other? You throw uh, pogs at other pogs. Uh, other pogs, yeah, you yeah. I'll give you them that. Up, yeah. Stack them up. And Is then you throw discs? them. Yeah, we had, um, like it's like uh, Beyblades or something. Mm, no, not as like exciting. Them. Have no. you got older siblings? No. no. Oh, wow. Babylon Zoo. S- Babylon Zoo. Yeah. That's like, this is like ancient mythology. No, Babylon Zoo is um, a it song that, that song. got to number one. No, it's not a song. It was. That's the, Space that's the band. Man. Yeah, that's the Babylon band. But that's the band. Yeah. But the song was called Space Man. It was is it Babylon as in like, as in Babylon or as in Babylon? Uh, who was the King Conquer runner-up in 1992? <laughs> I thought I'd know some of these. This is ridiculous. King Conquer. Runner-up. Uh, 92. Is... That was me. Uh, <laughs> I, I came runner-up in a Conquer competition. Oh. Um, um, 
<laughs> what job did Denzel do in uh, <laughs> Only Fools and Horses? Oh, yeah, I've never seen it. I've <laughs> never seen I've Only never Fools seen and Horses. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Ray Stance. Mm, Ray Stance. Mm. Ray Stance. Mm. Is that someone from Only Fools and Horses? No. I've got no idea. Ray He's Stance. a Ghostbuster. Oh. oh. Uh, Boncho Genja. You won't get this one. Stand up football. He's a footballer from. The, the, it was a really hard sticker to get in the sticker book when I was younger. Boncho Genchev played for Ipswich, I believe. Um, record bags. What would you keep in a record bag? Records. No, but what would. No. Guinness Book of World Records. But no, it is four records originally, but what did most people in my era keep in the record bag? <sighs> Walkman. A packed lunch school bag. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, itchy beard. Itchy beard. Mm. No, uh, At school, if you thought someone was lying, you go, itchy beard, mate. If you thought someone was what? Lying. Oh, lying. Okay. Keeping. Um, what animals were Ren and Stimpy? Meerkats. No. Oh, Ren and Stimpy, you should watch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what about that? I know that one. That's not that, yeah. 32 <laughs> I can do. What I can... about this? I did not hit her. It's not true. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Is that from the Shawshank Redemption? Oh. That's from the room. You don't know the room. Oh, I have seen. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, good, isn't it? I know about it. Do you, do you remember the hamster dance? No. That was the first meme I ever remember as a kid. Huh. You remember hamster the hamster dance? dance? Maybe no. I have seen it. I'm trying to think of more. more. Oh, Is there a little oh, hamster oh, doing oh, this? I can't imagine. I don't know. I can't imagine. I don't know. That's great for the listeners. I don't know. How bad was that? <laughs> <laughs> you found all of them. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought you'd get more than. I think you'd get something. What? Can I do the? I'll do, I'll do the opposite. Oh yeah, you. great. I'll do some like new, some well, new yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Which does... will lead us nicely into my problem, actually. <laughs> do you know what Riz is? <laughs> Riz. Yeah, just yeah. chatting someone up. So you know, what Riz, yeah. I Riz. I Riz my wife. You ri- yes. Yeah. Oh no, I'd say chirps yeah. every evening. <laughs> I used to say chirps. We'd say chirps. Before we watched Married at First Sight. Yeah. They're going chirps on that bird over there. Yeah, I remember chirps. But it's more than that. Riz is like, it's more than just Is chirp. it? It's, it's like a... Is it just a stick in a finger in? An it's aura. like if you, if, if you have Riz. <laughs> <laughs> if you have Riz, it's like, it's just, there's just, do you know what I mean? It's just, there's just a sort of, uh, it's like, it's like, it's short for charisma. Oh, but it's like, it's is like it? Just this, yeah. Is that what it's oh. from? Charisma. See, I like charisma, it when I understand yeah. where it comes I from. Know that. Uh, what else? Is we there? should get more young people on this show. No, <laughs> no, we don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. Um, go on. What else you got for me? I'm trying to think. Um, pop them in as and when because I want to. Yeah, gonna, I, and I do want. If you just shout one out, from yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I genuinely enjoy this, and plus it makes me relevant. Mm. Do you know what Schweff means? <laughs> what? Schweff. I think my no. nan used to work at the Schweppes factory. <laughs> That's the closest. I've never thing. heard Schweff. Schweff is uh Do you know what Schweppes is? I know what Schweppes is. Yeah, right. Okay, it's nothing to do with that. No, it's no. it's not. It's Schweff. Schweff. Is it somebody who's not very good in the kitchen? I think it's like uh I think it's like posh. I think it's posh slang. Oh, Because yeah. only what? only my like cousin and his friends use it. So um, is it Schweff? It mean, if you Schweff Put it in a out, sense. it means you like oh uh, Oh, you want to go hang out with your girlfriend tonight? Such a schweff. Oh yeah, my god, like, that sounds awful. Yeah, we should use that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, like sort of copping out. Uh, yeah, like it's different to copping off below. Oh, yeah. it's like it's like when you say someone's whipped. Ah, yeah. so oh, does it usually yeah. apply to that? Yeah, to relationship whip, thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, not, not as in not as in they've taken off in their whip. Okay, whenever no. <laughs> you're... They've whipped, they've gone. You're making me Oh, realize. can we start that? What, what? Oh, they've whipped. Oh, they've bailed. That's, people yeah. say that, yeah. Do they? <laughs> Why is Kay's laughing Kay's at this? Because like, Kay's knows what it means. Yeah. Oh, because he used to work it. It's probably chat they used to have on their work here. No, no. <laughs> yeah, whipping excursion. Why have they got to say excursion on it? Kay's has lost it again. <laughs> <laughs> A whipping excursion is, uh, is, is, when, is, an, is an excursion in the whip. Whipping excursion, it's not a trip to some BDSM night. Oh, no, no, no. Whipping excursion. Yeah, that's that's a very, yeah, if you're a Tory MP, maybe that's what whipping excursion is. Ah. 
Right, we're learning a lot. <laughs> you don't know what's going on, do you? No, no I mean, I'm going to say, oh, when you're hanging mean. out with your girlfriend, yeah. I'm going to say, well, you're so schweft. I've gone for no. a whipping excursion. No, you are schweft. You are a schweft. You are a schweft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and I've gone God. for a whipping excursion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> you admit that, yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah, why yeah, not? Where, right. do, does anyone know where these things ever originate from? When I was, well, at we school, know that we know that. Um, when I was in like yeah, comes from cruise time, of okay, course. Okay, okay, but I don't know. But who started it? Um, like, does anyone ever know sometime. the origin? When I when I was in year seven, there was a new word which was nang. Mm. Everyone kept saying, "You've heard that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's I remember, a Jeremy song. Yeah, well, yeah. I remember there was a BBC thing, a news report on it, and they were trying to find the origin of it, and they couldn't. And as far as I know, no one knows where Nang is from. So how does it happen? And can we start one? I think, well, there's, it, the thing is, Urban Dictionary used to be good for that. Yeah, but a lot but of it's now lies. people add everything. Yeah, you can rubbish. add nonsense. Yeah. There's no, it's not like the OED. It's people, there's no like uh, mm. people going through it and sorting everything out. Let's start, let's start a new slang. Okay. Come on. I'm going to think of something. Oh, oh, yeah, it'll come to me and I'll it'll just come blow to it you. out. Yeah, yeah. Right, have you got anything? But New slang. Yeah. I I heard this one. Uh, you know Raj Pujara? Yes. He So he tried to start this one and I think it's really good. Shones. Yeah. For for girls. They're going to be Shones there. Shones? Oh, Shones. I did start one then, in fact. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd be like, is there going to be any biscuit there? As in, like, girls. Crumpet, like cookie. Yeah, 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 like yeah lovely yeah. little bit of biscuit. I like that, yeah. He's been saying that for years. Yeah, I have been saying that for years. Yeah, they're going to be any, that, yeah. Well, oh, I was at the party last night. There were some, some, there were a couple of McVitties, mm. some hobnobs. They're going to be, I wonder what's left in the tin. We're getting there later. Oh, there'll be anything left in the tin. I like that, yeah. I wonder how dunkable they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was more of a bourbon affair. <laughs> Do you like do you Gary like Baldy? It's, it feel, <laughs> these feel racial now. <laughs> so, that's is it the more problem. bourbons or custard creams? Oh, yeah, I like it. That's the cream. <laughs> oh, no, that is racial. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, my favourite biscuit is a custard cream. Of course it is. Yeah. I'm talking about actual biscuits. Not su no surprise there. Yeah. Um, I want to move on to um, my problem because it is kind of related to all of this mad, the, the sort of age gap business. Mm-hmm. I don't... I've got a couple of pictures that I, I'm going to show, right? Oh, dear. Um, no, I don't really understand what... I'm. And you're all right, really, but let's have Thanks. a little look. Um, I don't really it. understand the dress code amongst your people. It's a T-shirt. I'm just wearing a T-shirt, yeah. I know, but like... So, and this all comes from... Um, I mean, you were talking about this when we were writing comedy because yeah. I wrote a bit about this exact thing. There was a guy... Right in Manchester, sat at the table next to me. I'll get the picture up in a minute. He's wearing like a Russian hat. He's wearing a pearl necklace, and then he's wearing three quarter length tracksuit bottoms. I don't really understand how these young people are dressing. Yeah, but pick a look. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if it's ridiculous. But, it's, it depends. but don't just like don't just pick loads of different parts. But if you go like Shoreditch, then people do look mad. Yeah. And it's weird because like... I, I wasn't in Shoreditch, I was in Manchester. Shut up. I was just going to say, because I lived in Manchester for a bit and you wouldn't ever get that level of thing. Right. It's blurry, so I take a picture looks. of him very quickly. <clears throat> that is him. <laughs> Hang on. You took a picture of I him. I took a picture of him. Can you show the camera? Yeah, we're going to show the camera. Yeah, I'll show the camera. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, I, I see what you mean. I see this kind of thing a lot. And can you m help me understand fashion? Well, I think it. I mean, I think it's sort of um, people are very into that sort of reclaimed vintage stuff. And if it looks like you've got your clothes from lots of different places, it's almost like wearing, um, you know, your treasures from 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 foreign lands. It's like you know how somebody would get like loads of tattoos. <clears throat> You might, um, you might be Russian. But you know when somebody gets loads of tattoos to like, yeah, to mark different parts of their life. Like I got this because this happened to me then. Yeah, Is it like I got this when I was there, and then I got that, and I'm wearing it all. It's like they're, they're it's like a show and tell thing. Is I that mean, what you're trying to say. Uh, the thing is, it's very, it's hard for me to explain because I look at that and think that sort of looks cool. Oh, I, it's. But I'm trying, right, to, real, I'm trying to figure out why. Look at these people here. Yeah, see, they're all dressed terribly. 
I mean, that's... That, yeah. Who are these people? I that's, just found them on the internet. Yeah, well, but they, they don't just Google, no, like, kids. No, and then... I was like, Gen Z fashion. <laughs> it literally says Gen Z fashion trends there. And if you're listening, by the way, um, maybe you want to check out the video version of this on YouTube because I'm mm. not wearing a hat today. My hair's looking good. But uh, there's a guy here. He's wearing, like, a black long... Like, a long shirt. Yeah, but that's not... With, with, like, neon flames. And he's got... Like big baggy trousers and a and a chain connected to it. Yeah, but that's... and then he's like wearing also a bit of makeup. That doesn't look. Then good, in the, the first picture we were just talking about, I've already explained the guy with the Russian hat and the three quarter mm. length tracksuit. Bombs. What's going on? Like, the th- well, the three quarter length is that that is very cool. Jorts. Oh. If you see the the big the baggy jorts, big jorts. It's very nineties, early two thousands. Mm. But wearing baggy wearing baggy stuff is is. Um, but why, very cool. Like why do you not want to look like smart? It. I don't like baggy stuff that much. It's comfortable. Let's, and yeah, it sort of makes you look, it's sort of, no matter what your, your body you shape is. Makes you look dressed down, is, though. Mm. Makes you look dressed down. Yeah, like you've dressed down. It do, it, yeah, but it looks cool. How does a You're Gen Z dress up? up? How does a Gen Z dress up? Yeah. If you, um, wanted, to, if you wanted to, like, where are they going? smart. Uh... Is that anything? Is that a Fred Flintstone? I don't know. I've got these memes. <laughs> meme sounds. Hey, Doc. I got caught tomorrow. Is that, is that uh, anything? I'm going to show you how to do these properly, Bilal. So there's ones with... Um, look, it's a thingy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, I'm going to uninstall that. I don't really like it. Yeah, don't use that again. I'll, I'm going to bring sound effects into this podcast. We were talking about doing sound effects. Even your meme good... soundboard is like it's dated. outdated. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I because all right. Let's put it like this. Yeah. If you were going to style me to fit in with Gen Zs, yeah. What would what changes would you make today? I've got on a pair of like high top trainers, a pair of Fred Perry trousers, uh, which are like army green, and I'm wearing a white sort of bit too fluffy for my liking. Actually, what shirt. Are your, what can you stand up when yep. I see your trousers? I mean, the thing is, <laughs> I would I would just say I'd say un- first of all, you got to un- untuck the shirt, right? Um, I think if you had um, already already, I look scruffier. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's but you to untuck the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd ro- I'd roll the roll the sleeves up. Take Don't look time. at me like that, Balau. Take your time. Yeah. Um. Maybe yeah. instead of the, instead of the, the Fred Perry trousers, maybe you know some 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 sort of some baggy jeans. I would never wear baggy jeans. You'd never wear baggy no, jeans, man. I barely wear jeans. The thing is though, they make you they sort of because they sort of they sort of go in at the waist mm-hmm. and then they and they flare out the bottom, so they make you look kind of they make you look broader and broader. Why at the, do I want to look broader? At the bottom. But why do we want fat legs? Why do you want fat legs? We don't want fat Quadzilla. legs. Quadzilla. Quadzilla. Yeah. yeah. Even my the bottom bit, not just the quads. The Hamstrings and, and all, the whole my legs are the, all fat. I bet you not. I mean, do you like the what? You like the slim trouser look where you're sort of bursting out. No, of your, not, no, not no, skinny, I don't like not that. yeah, slimmer, but not. I don't like skinny, skinny. So, just to it's very difficult. All of this, yeah. So I okay, mean, it's when you when you see me coming along mm. at a gig, <laughs> right? Yeah, I run. <laughs> I've got, I've got my little uh, baseball so, cap on Holding and a out suit. a phone with Gen Z's on it. Is this, is this what I have yeah. to do? <laughs> right. And I'm, Why? I'm, I'm in a suit with a, with a baseball cap. Yeah. Because yeah? that's me trying to I think, I, dress that down I think a bit. You, I think you dress well. Thank you. That's all I wanted. That's my problem. So. That's what he wanted. <laughs> he, he, he works really hard um, on it. And what is on your necklace? So I think it's a face. Oh. Hmm. Who's that? Can't you tell? Jim Carrey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Jim Carrey, yeah. It's Jim Carrey from uh, Ace Ventura, right? That's Ace Ventura. No, it's from, um, what's it, Mr. Popper's Penguin. That is, yeah, that, that is Mr. That, Popper. That is Sham. Sham? Yeah. Is that a word you've invented? Yeah, yeah. What is, what is Sham? Something that's not quite right. It's like a bit dodgy. That's, hmm. No. No? You're not having that? We're going to work. We need to have a meeting. <laughs> Another one. What's the etymology <laughs> of sham? I don't know. I don't, well, because it's like a bit dodgy, isn't it? It's like it's not quite right. Mm-hmm. Something not quite right about it. Like it looks like a face, but not quite. Um, what's your what's your problem, Bilal, Today, my problem is that um, 
I um <clears throat> my uh brother has uh moved abroad and he has put his place on Airbnb, mm. right? Which is great financially. Why are you saying it like that? Airbnb. 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 Yeah. Airbnb. It is also the place that I grew up in, right? Yeah. But and I had to go and uh, have a look, not that place. I had to go and have a look um, at the flat and it was left in a Why did you state. go and look at it? I had to just let some builders in recently. Mm. But the people that stayed in it left it in an absolute disgusting state. Mm. And that's the f- house I grew up in. Mm. Even my old bedroom was messy. They didn't How even do it? the bed. It was all just like they'd cooked food and left it all out. I feel like you've... It's very sad. Well, that, I mean... They're going to get a bad rating. The though, way the, That is kind of the responsibility of the person who hosts the Airbnb to... Yeah, you get a cleaner. No, no, yeah, a cleaner would come in mm, yeah. later. Yeah. But it's upsetting for me. Now, my problem is... I want to track these people down. Okay. Oh. And I've heard on the dark web, because I'm sure you know about this sort of thing, that you can <laughs> hire an assassin, but it might be uh, police. Can I say, I don't, I think Airbnb <laughs> is not for you. If you're that uncomfortable with people staying in, in the house, I, yeah. But it's my brother's flat. He doesn't Consider mind. Consider alternate streams of income. He doesn't mind. I'm not making Well, I'm thinking about me. Airbnb and... <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm thinking about airbnb out my flat while I'm in South Africa. People are scum. But You're I'll just get a cleaner the... to clean it. Yeah. Uh, and you put that in the price. What's the price of a cleaner versus the price of an assassin? I think assassin, what have you got? How much is um, 0.4 Ethereums at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll look that up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I was trying to buy an NFT. I thought since they've all like fallen off, yeah. I thought I could maybe try and get the cheapest NFT, but I think they're still like sort of six hundred quid. Mm. I wanted to get one for like one thousand six hundred and eleven pounds seventy one pence. Okay, so you're on the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wire you into your Ethereum wallet? Oh, um, you can wire me. Yeah. £1,611.71. I'll do my best to get it taken care of. Okay. Are you going to do it? No, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to take your money. Oh. Well, can you help with... I I only accept Bitcoin. So, yeah, we'll have to... What's that in Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is... um... Do you have any of that kind of money? I think if if, if I was... (laughs) Do you have that kind of money? Do you have any crypto... I I I bought I did buy Ethereum. Yeah, I tried to a while right ago. before it crashed. Oh. So I bought it when it was at its most expensive. Yeah, I did that with Doge. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the thing is, it was locked down, and I was living at my parents' house, and YouTube was sort of going well. Mm-hmm. So I thought I should, um, yeah, I should probably invest in, um, yeah. I sh- and is your money still in there? No, you just immediately. Just well, I, yeah, I think I bought it at its all-time high mm. and then, like, sold it at its very low, all-time low. And then it started to go back up oh, again. Oh, so someone absolutely did you there. Yeah. I'm that's what sorry. they say, though. Buy high, sell low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to be a comedian, that's what yeah. you <laughs> um, So your problem is that you didn't like the way that they left your brother's it's flat. Upsetting. It's It's, yeah. Like, people, like, he's had a lot of someone issues tell us people. some stuff. People have been breaking stuff. Yeah, that happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, I don't know, like, you, you, we all stay in Airbnb sometimes when we're gigging or whatever. Yeah. Can't get a hotel. Mm-hmm. I, do you not leave the place nice and clean? Nice enough. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, what, what did they do? You said they didn't clean up the cooking. You've got, yeah. you've got to think of the, uh, you know, the mindset of someone who's staying in an Airbnb mm. in Wanstead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the point I was making to him off air. My flat is uh, no, near no, Columbia no, Road no, no, Flower no. Market. I don't suppose Mate. I'm going to get the sort of subhuman scum that you're getting. Of course yes, you are. No, no, yeah. Of the, course he is. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. I'm going to get... He, you think it's just going to be I'm gonna people get that digital love flowers? No, I'm going to get digital nomads. Ah, mm-hmm. Wanting you, to work from work from H. You, I guess you could, you could advertise for that specifically. Mm. But I think... Do you think that someone might have... Because this does happen. Do you think someone might have used your Airbnb for a house party? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. They can tidy up. Anyway, I'm just um, 
finding it difficult. My brother doesn't care. I was like, well, how are they doing this? Yeah. And he was like, it's making money I think on it. it's it actually fine. says more about where you're at in your life at the moment that you really miss your childhood and like that was the mm. best time in your life and now it's actually no, it quite wasn't. shit and you keep thinking back to that. No, I prefer being an adult personally. Mm. Yeah. yeah, It's not going great though, is it? I didn't like school very much and stuff, but now um, doing this podcast. <laughs> but now you live in a flat with moulds. Uh, the mould's fine. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. it's not a big deal. Okay. So your um, flat got mould? My flat. Um, no, but we ha- I, there's a there is a sort of panel <laughs> full of moths. Ah, uh, oh, the moth, moth panel. panel. Moth panel. Yeah, there's a moth. <laughs> for, we do have a moth panel. Yeah, a moth um, panel problem. <laughs> it was there. You know, the the people who lived there before we put it in. They. It's not my breeding kind of thing. moths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what yeah. what what are you going to do about that? Uh, the moth panel. Yeah. Um, Nothing. I think. I, I, the problem is the moment you open the moth panel. Get they moths. think the whole room's the moth panel. Do you know oh. what I mean? If you keep them behind behind it, they, um, you know, they sort of, uh, they might come out every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, but, it's not nice killing all of them, is it, really? Um, no, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I don't know who, animal rights groups might get involved. Pop a hoover in there. And that's a massacre. Yeah. And they're alive in... And, and, then, then, and, then, and then you've and got... And moths a, are vengeful. Then you've got a moth Henry Hoover because they're just living but, in there. But, yeah. I think they might actually... The way that uh, this fashion business is going, I reckon leave them because they'll start biting holes in your clothes and mm. that distressed look is very... In. It's true. If, in with who? Young, <laughs> young... If Jake Paul wore a jacket with holes in, you'd do it. Jake Paul... <laughs> <laughs> well, Jake, Paul, that's the thing. All these influencers now, they've got a moth panel. All these influencers are boxers now. <laughs> yeah, are you yeah. going to take up boxing? Are you going to do that? Am I going to take up boxing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I mean, challenge I, challenge it, I, KSI now. I worry it'll be the same thing with Ethereum. At the moment I get into yeah. it, it, it completely loses popularity. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be on the next thing. I want to I see what influencers are doing next. What do they do boxing. next? What do you do after bo- UFC? You, yeah. Influ- yeah. Go straight no, into YouTube, no, UFC. competitive swimming. <laughs> Yeah, synchronized, syn- yeah. <laughs> synchronized swimming. <laughs> it will be whatever the next big sport is because, bo- yeah, boxing took Curling, off. Yeah. Of... Well, UFC is the one in it that's massive. Yeah. You think, uh, WWF wrestling. Thing? What's the What next? comes after UFC? WWF. Has to be some kind of violence. Well, because f- well, if, if we, if we take it that, you know, because everything is getting progressively more violent, isn't it? Because it, oh. I mean, America, it used to be baseball was the big thing. The and then, then it was NFL. Now it's UFC. Have you the seen slapping? It? Have you seen it? Oh, competitive slapping. Have you seen it? Um, it's awful. Yeah, I have. It's like a yeah. Russian thing. Yeah, but they're doing it like the Dana White set it up. Oh, really? Yeah. And people are knocking each other out, slapping tickling each other. Tickling as well. Tickling. You can do competitive You're tickling. I don't think, yeah. <laughs> I think it will go UFC to tickling. <laughs> yeah, when, you, when you look like me, you can't really talk about competitive <laughs> tickling. Let's get the young influencers <laughs> in. <laughs> um, so, uh, what problem have you brought in for the podcast today? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I thought, I, I, I was thinking about this uh, on the way here. Uh, okay, oh. so I have a problem, which is that um, I would really like to move in uh, I want my flat, my flatmate. I want my cousin to come live with me. Um, he's like my closest friend. Uh, we've always talked about living together. We always do think it'd be really a good idea. But the problem is, he's a really bad influence. My flatmate at the moment, she's a very sensible Irish woman called mm. Kate, and um, and it's she's the perfect flatmate. She just she's just such a human being, and. Um, she her lifestyle encourages me to sort of sort out mine. Uh, wow. Yeah, because I feel guilty if I'm going in there to have breakfast at like eleven a.m. And she's already been working for like three hours. And biscuit. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what she looks like. Yeah. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, lovely bit of biscuit in the kitchen <laughs> every morning. You're rising. Rising. Yeah. You're always. You, so, riz- do you say rising? Rizzing, I said. Yeah, I got rizzing, it right. Yeah, you got it. Sorry. You're rizzling. I'll be whipping around there on an excursion. <laughs> Jesus. So what? what's the problem? The, the problem is I want him to I want him to move in. Is there space for him? Hmm. Uh, well, it w- there would be if Kate. I'd have to I'd have get to, rid of her. Uh, yeah. Let's hope she's not. To kill her. Listening. Yeah, I'd have to kill her, yeah. She's, is she going to listen to this? Um, who knows? Probably not. She's very sensible. Hmm. Mm, we can send it to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But, well, yeah, but the, the thing is, we, my cousin is the friend I do drugs with. So, 
If if he moved in, I worry that I would really I would fall off the wagon. What does he do for a job? Uh, he is he, so he's a student mm. and a Muay Thai fighter. Bloody hell! Is it is your cousin Elliot Steele? <laughs> <laughs> It, it, do you know what Elliot Steele is not far off what my cousin is <laughs> right. is like and yeah. what does your cousin do for drugs um, what doesn't <laughs> he do for drugs <laughs> what doesn't he do for drugs um, he'll do anything he does drugs. I think he does a lot for the trade <laughs> he so we, we've uh, we've pretty much tried it all mm. um, <laughs> Yeah, I think we... such like a serious like Louis Farouk style response from you, but like, <laughs> yeah, it was. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's um, that's interesting. Yeah, mm. how's is that? Is that a good Louis Farouk? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, is that weird? Is that is it? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing I, all, I um, heard someone describe what he does as um, he just waits. He, he, he makes them answer questions yeah, and then he doesn't say anything. He just That's waits. That's what I was trying to do. say something else. I asked the drug yeah. thing and then I just looked at you. Yeah. yeah. He do, he's, very good at wait, he's very good at waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what about, is, is, do you think there's a, a chance that your housemate will uh, at some point be moving out herself? In the I think there's future. a very strong chance that she'll be well, moving then out soon. Oh, you're going to kill her. No, no, if you don't do that. If you don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll unleash the moths. Yeah. And then they'll nibble away at her until there's nothing left. Oh, yeah. They don't do that, Bilal, do I mean, they? She's, she's not got... She doesn't want to move. Um, well, yeah, I don't think so. At some point, I think she'll probably... Be I don't think it's Would good. Would she I describe think... you as the perfect housemate? No, no. I don't think so, so she's finding you annoying already. Um, I just don't really contribute anything. It sounds like you shouldn't live with your cousin, but you could always uh, do little getaways together. Yeah. Get an Airbnb, get my brother's flat, trash it. Yeah, well, we, already, <laughs> drugs we already did that. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, they didn't clean up after yeah. cooking. <laughs> but I'm worried, you know, what if what if you live together and then the TikToks are going to stop and then the gigging's going to stop? Well, that's, that's what I'm worried about. And then, yeah, Broadway, and then you become a sh- schwep. Broadway baby oh, said... Sh- Schwepter. Schwe- <laughs> schwep. Schwep. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, it's not what that means. Broadway Baby, or was it Broadway World? Broadway Baby Broadway said Baby. you're going to be the future of comedy, and then and, and then you'll have less link- yeah, you'll have less LinkedIn followers. Yeah, because well. you're doing Spice. We did do that once. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> it was an accident. They used to they used to sell these like vapes with. We thought it was THC in the vape, but it turned out it was a lot of yeah. That was a, that's another that was a Gen Z tragedy. A lot of people ended up smoking Spice. But it was great. What all in one weekend? It was. Uh, it was. Cinnamon. I think it was a period of like three, four months. Mate, spice is awful. How much do you know what spice is? He does it. Sort yeah. of like red pepper flakes, synthetic cannabis. Mm. Uh, yeah, sounds disgusting. Oh, it's wonderful, but it's really bad for oh, you. Okay. People Don't like fall it. asleep standing up and stuff on it. Did you do that? <laughs> well, no. Because... I do that. It's called being thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh... <laughs> It was quite different. It wasn't. It wasn't like the the spice that. It wasn't like the really dangerous. It's not like the one you see on like them documentaries about prisons. No, it was. It was. It was different. It, but it was synthetic. It was made in. I think it's made in Shanghai. Well, if you're ever arrested in, in they sell in it prison, KFC. They sell it KFC. Yeah. <laughs> if you could get spice smuggled in, yeah. Maybe if you could threaten one of the guard's sons in another jail, if, if you know where he is, and you could be like, you need to bring us stuff, then you get him to bring you spice. That doesn't stay in your system as long as other drugs. So that's the one that prisoners tend to do. If you, wow. Because you know, it happens in a BBC drama called Time, which is pretty good. It's got Sean Bean in it. Are you in it? Time. No, that's what you're asking was. about. The it. series two is out with Jodie Whittaker. No. Sean Bean's in it. Sean Bean's in the first series. Brilliant. It's What's on it? iPlayer. Give me, give me some of that spice, boy. I feel like I haven't, I haven't really solved my problem. No, we're still getting to it. Okay, don't worry. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry. The, the, the interview is not over. Because that's why um, I came. Yeah. 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 No, so yes. what does your cousin, what is he studying? Uh, uh, ancient history. Okay. <laughs> so he's not going to get a does job that... using that, is he? Um, I think, I think not. I Where, th- where's he going to uni? He's Bristol. Right. But when he moves is, to London, is that why you're doing a show in Bristol coming up? Uh, yeah, I do shows so in Bristol a lot because I get to see, see, see him. Your cousin. Yeah, yeah. And there's always audiences in Bristol, isn't it? Good gigging place. Oh, great! I'm really doing good. a I'm doing a gig in Bristol soon. Nice city. Okay, um, but <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to work out when you right when you gig in Bristol. Mm. Do you feel like 
sometimes you're not putting in maximum effort because you're, you're high on you're thinking spice. about hanging out with your cousin. No, it would be Bristol, it would be Ket. Have you done on, that? Have you guys done on that? On stage? No. You've never done Ket before? I'm not. I'm not one of the... Jerry Page is the one can who I, does all the... Can I tell you about my Ket phase? You can, yeah. Sure. So that was the worst one. Right. That was the... I mean, that one. Uh, oh. That, yeah. I. For some reason, that was the one that was hardest to quit. I remember I did so much. Uh, so, right, in lockdown, the first time I did Ket, well, it was around the same time that I <laughs> got really into the Beatles. Um, They're number one again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I, in my mind, I associate the Beatles with Ket. So every time I listen to the Beatles, I want to do Ket. And every time I take Ket, I want to listen to the Beatles. So I remember I did so much Ket in lockdown one time and I used to watch documentaries about the Beatles as well whilst I was on it did so much that I thought I was one I genuinely oh, thought no. I was one of the Beatles oh, no. which I, one? no all of them I thought it was oh, all of them at the no. same time and, I, and I've got a video on my phone of me looking at, uh, look, filming myself and going do I am I all of the Beatles and then like showing a picture of the thing and saying I think I look like all of the Beatles but like, and then you, I go, the and blonde I go, Beatle I go put together and then I go put together like that. There's a dog, right? That these, the, I don't know if you've seen this. My wife was showing me on on TikTok. There's yeah. this dog that they've trained. It can they can basically have conversations with it. They've been training it for years, where it has all these <laughs> buttons. Right? Get him on, and it can <laughs> be like seriously. It yeah. can be like happy, sad, concerned oh, is one that. of them. Bunny, yeah. would you bunny. Mean, bunny? Yeah. Have you seen what Bunny's been up to? What's Bunny? Uh, existential Mate. is Bunny existential. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is not. If you don't know about this, Bunny's being like, what is? He's life? looking in a mirror. Yeah, and he's saying like, why Bunny dog? Yeah. It's cr- oh, it's Whoa. crazy. And looking in a mirror and looking at the owners because there's because it started off with like six buttons. It would be like yeah. food, pit shit, whatever you know. Oh but my now, God. but now it's like as we got to stop buttons. eating these dogs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why bunny dog? Why bunny? And looks yeah. in the mirror. Yeah. Why bunny dog is crazy. And that like, is my man, wife's man. really upset about this about Bunny, and I'm like, no, he doesn't understand. He or she doesn't. It's not. It's is it not like that? Is it like the monkeys and typewriters thing? It's, like, no. E- and eventually, he's going to push them three buttons together. No, because oh. he, he whilst it's, looking, it's, it seems like he knows what he's saying. And he's it's looking quite in the mirror worrying. and he's going, "Why, Bunny, dog?" So Why? you reminded me of that. Yeah. When you were on, <laughs> get him in. <laughs> Why, Finley, Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Ringo? Okay. <laughs> I think, judging by what you just said, you absolutely should not live with your cousin <laughs> and, you and you should, should live with doing, Kate. And don't do ketamine and don't I listen think, to the Beatles. I think, you know, from what you told me uh, before, you took your friend away. Yeah. Yeah, right? You're obviously a very generous, nice guy, yeah. right? And uh, I think you keep pushing that career yeah. so you can have loads more of those type of trips with your cousin that you can pay for yeah. because of how well you're doing with your career. I don't think you should live with him because you might end up like Elliot Steele. No. <laughs> <laughs> no you... We have to get Elliot Steele on. Yeah, we'll get him on. Just slag him no, off no, like he's that. a good friend. I play football with him. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. Yeah. Um, now, uh, a good friends a stretch, but we play football together. And he's nice. <laughs> no, like we get. Him. Um, yeah. So, but before, so I've solved it. I'm not going to allow you to do it. And I think actually, you know, when sometimes someone's just like come into your life for a reason. I think I've come into your life at this time to advise you to stay. On the straight and narrow of your career, and I'm, I'm going as, as one of the Beatles, yeah, as, as like, all of the Beatles. Yeah, okay. That's the thing. I want to tour next year, so probably. as the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you've, you're number one in the charts. Congrats! <laughs> and uh, we've got to do an audience uh, listeners problem. One moment, please. Please hold. Oh, uh, this sending. is a great time oh, to yeah, tell you that uh, the podcast is going from. S to S, which uh, is short for strength to strength. And uh, we couldn't do that without you regularly listening and subscribing and liking all of our stuff. Uh, please do share this with people. We need a people. thousand YouTube subscribers so we can monetize. Monetize the shit out of this. Please get all your friends to... Um... This question, this problem, sorry, is from uh, Ian David Hamilton. Mm. I keep getting little stones Sounds in like my... Sh- I went to Finley school. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Hamilton. Ian David Hamilton. He sa- I think he sounds like some, but not in my year. No. He's the sixth above. Beatle. Yeah. He's the si- <laughs> I keep getting little stones in my shoes or boots when I am walking. I don't understand how it happens. How can little stones jump off of the pavement and up into my shoes or boots? 
I don't understand how it is scientifically possible, but it keeps happening. It hurts my head. Thanks. I'm so sorry. That never happens to me. I, I, is that a? I think that's a gravel issue. Mm. Does he live? If he lives near a gravel is, is park, is he working on shale? What does that mean? <laughs> Tiny like bits of shell on the beach. I think oh. yeah. it's either that or there's a. He's got. He's got the, a hole. The in borrowers his shoe. are living in his house. Do you ever get things in your shoes? Um, do I ever get things in my shoes? Mm. My feet, socks, my socks. Very cool. Um, drugs. <laughs> um, what else? What else do I get in my shoes? Um, no. oh, yeah, I can't remember the last time I got st- uh, a little stone. It, it does I, happen. I, I can tell you. I can tell you two things here. Yeah. I, I think number one. Uh, I'm sorry that this is such a straightforward and boring answer. A, you run out of time, and B, you can only wear the material you've got. Uh. Thanks, Ian. It's a good and, question. Um, you're not doing your shoes up tight enough. One, two. You've got a hole in your shoe somewhere, and they're getting in from underneath. Yeah, you got a hole. Is it in both boots? That's weird. But also, it's boots. It's so always shouldn't... boots, though, isn't it? It's not if you're wearing boots. Because mm. I, I never get stones in my shoes. Yeah. But then boots. Yeah, stones. Hey, Ian. Christmas is coming up. Why don't you ask a loved one to buy some new boots? Stop wearing them holy old shoes. Go Sports Direct. All right, get some good training. Go Sports Direct. Go Sports Direct. Or, or just become comfortable with the stones. Oh, treat it like a mini, very pinpointed massage, like painful. acupuncture. Yeah, acupuncture. <laughs> yeah, you had said that, that. Right. I just tried to get away with it. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, I think having a stone in your shoe. What's the old saying? Have a stone in your shoe. Have a Good sto- luck. Yeah, have a yeah. A stone in the shoe is worth two in the in the in the bush. In in your bush. I think um, it's very cool amongst Gen Zs, fashion wise, to have stones in your shoe. Oh yeah, it will appreciate. You'll appreciate it. What I think getting the stone out of the shoe is quite is quite cathartic. And taking you- them off at the end of yeah. the day, or if you've had a stone in there all day. Yeah, I'd just take it off and empty the stone out and put them back on. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think he's got holes in his boots. Yeah. This has been a lovely episode. If Thank you, you like, so much. if if you like Bristol, if you like Bristol, I, I know that uh, Finn is doing a show there. <laughs> When yeah, is it? But only come if you like Bristol. No, uh, if you if you're in <coughs> Bristol, I should have said. Even my London shows. Um, yes, I'm doing a show. I'm doing a show at the at the White Bear in Bristol on on on. I don't think I've been there. I should know when it is. It's on the fifth of December. Fifth. You're you are. Are you doing two sold out shows? There's no point in talking about those. Twenty uh, eighth <laughs> of November. You're doing London solo show. <laughs> Not sold that? out. Top secret. Uh, top secret. I can't say. Uh, 5th of December, Bristol with Michael May. Yeah. And the 17th of December, London with Jamie D'Souza and Eric Rushton. Mm-hmm. We're um, in London. Is that one? That's it. I think that's at Camden. Camden Comedy Club. Oh, yeah. That o- also, uh, I, it's one of the few people mm. whose specials I've watched all the way through when they've been coming on the show. And it really made me laugh. It's, oh, good. it's really good. Thank um, you. I actually already told people it was good before I watched it because I trusted you. I well I put it out with you yeah. in the room. Yeah, I, you did. You were right. in the room when I when you I uploaded, uploaded it to it, YouTube, yeah. yeah. Wow. And it's called OK Zoom and it's on YouTube and it's free. What? I know I can't believe that either. It's free. You can just watch it. So why don't you just go and watch it? That was very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you I very much for joining guy. us. Thank you. Have we run out of time? Yeah. yeah. Ages ago. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for listening, everybody, or watching on YouTube and all of that, etc. Remember, got a problem at gmail.com. Don't do spice. Don't do spice. (laughs) Don't do ketamine. Don't watch the Beatles. Yeah. And Um, have yourself a lovely bit of old biscuit. Biscuit. (laughs) 